you see in the accounting tab of the material master that there's something called as a valuation class. What is valuation class? And how does it affect the value of the material? And I said, for price control, select V. Typically for all materials that are procured, not manufactured. All materials that are procured have a price control of V. And what is V? V stands for moving average price or MAP. You, you could call it weighted average or it's all the same thing. It's averaged out every time we procure. We're going to talk about it. So why don't we do something? Let's create a material, set the moving average price to zero by default, and then start issuing some POs and see the difference. All right, so we're going to do MM01. Let's create a brand new material. Coffee beans, uh, instead of 03, let's call it 06, so that you know it's, we know that this is a different material and it's just starting off. Retail sector and uh, it's a raw material, right? So hit enter. And we are only interested in three views, basic data, purchasing data, accounting data. Hit OK. And for plant, as usual, we use the Chicago plant. And the coffee beans or bags, whatever. Pound. Material group is food. Hit enter. And purchasing group is US1. Hit enter. And finally, the valuation class is 3000. And price control is V. V for moving average. And if you look at the possible options there, you'll see two different values. Yes, for standard price. V for moving average price. And like I said, for all materials that are procured externally, always use V. V for moving average. All right, so we're done with that. We're going to hit save. It's going to issue a warning. Ignore that. Click OK. All right, Coffee Beans 06 is created. And of course, if you go back to Coffee Beans, hit enter, and go to the accounting view, enter plan Chicago 1, you'll see that the total stock is zero, the moving average price is zero, and the total value is zero. So nothing has been procured, we don't have stock yet, and the average price or the moving average price is zero. So let's keep this screen right there and go open another screen and do a purchase order, ME21N. All right, doesn't matter which vendor, so just select some vendor, and of course the purchase org of US01, some purchase group, and company code US01. Select coffee beans, not 03, but 06, the material that we have just created. And we're gonna do a quantity of one, just one. Of course, use a plan Chicago one, enter, and we're gonna put a price of $10, right? and hit save okay a purchase order is created let's go quickly save control c if you go back to the other window you'll see that nothing has changed here if you want to see the changes this screen doesn't refresh automatically so if you want to see the changes you got to go back and then hit enter again go to accounting view enter chicago one Hit enter. So that's how you refresh for changes. But over here, nothing has changed. The stock remains zero, value remains zero, moving average price remains zero. So that means, so irrespective of the number of purchase orders that you created, the value does not change. But when does the value change? Value changes during goods receipt. That's when we have received the goods, the physical inventory, and the stock goes up and a whole bunch of changes happen. Let's go do a goods receipt. What's the goods receipt? All right, the transaction for goods receipt is MyGo. So go to MyGo. 
enter your purchase order control v and the storage location raw material make sure you click item ok so we are receiving a quantity of one at the price that we have seen in the purchase order ten dollars click save so material document is created that means we have completed the process of receiving the goods go back to the other screen the material master screen start all over again Counting one, Chicago one. Do you see that? The moving average price or the moving price is changed to ten dollars, and the total value is ten dollars, and the total stock is one dollar. So as soon as you finish the goods receipt, SAP has automatically updated the material master. With what? With the price, the quantity and the total value the total value is really simple right price multiplied by the total stock gives you the total value so let's catch up with the slides so what have we done here we have created a material master for 06 set the price control to v and of course since we are creating this material for the first time the moving average price is zero and the total value is zero total stock is zero everything is zero the first step that we have done is create a PO. And when you created the PO, after you saved it, you went back to the material master and nothing has changed. And after that, you have done the goods receipt. So when you have done the goods receipt, that's when the price has changed. The price changed, the stock changed, and the total value changed. The total value is basically a multiplication of this and this. So if you multiply both these fields, you get the total value, right? So if you do another purchase order at a price of $10 per kilo or pound, then effective average price is going to remain the same, right? So that scenario is simple. You can do it in your system and see the effect of it. The average price does not change. The quantity and value changes, obviously. But what if the price changes? In the next purchase order again let's do a purchase order this time let's do it for a quantity of two all right and then we're going to do it for chicago instead of a price of ten dollars let's do twenty dollars okay and then hit save save your purchase order Control C, copy your purchase order, and go to MIGO and do a goods receipt against that purchase order. Do an item OK and click save. Let's go back to the material and see what happens. In the material master, go back and come again. Select the accounting view, click OK, select Chicago 1 plant. And what happens here? The stock has changed to 3, which is right. The first order was for a quantity of 1. The second order was for a quantity of 2. So 1 plus 2 equals 3. What's the total value? The total value is a multiplication of 16.67 multiplied by 3. So let's see if that is correct. Open a calculator and say... 16.67 multiplied by 3. That's 50. Right? The system seems to have calculated everything right. Now the question you might have is, how did it arrive at a price of 16.67? The moving average price. What's the formula used to arrive at that? 